The Sign of the Times, episode 509, from an undisclosed vehicle. Undisclosed vehicle. Our chicken, uh, Bob and I, will be headed to Roseburg for Power Pit Pro Wrestling. Roseburg is far. It's very far. But Chicken Bob and I are going to fly down there, and boy, will Chicken Bob's wings be tired. For the people that love the snaps, Demon and Bunny Coffee. Chicken Bob probably wishes he had a cup right about now, but we don't. Pamphlet for the Sign of the Times. Book I got for QT out of a little free library. Hopefully I will see him at a Coast Guard base and hand this off to him in the near future. Coffee for One by K.J. Fallon. I'm still reading this. I'm like a third of the way through it. A third of the way through. Oh, going read the CAC. They definitely had a convention this year. That's what it looks like inside the law office of Stephen P. New. Get even with Stephen, if you will. The Twitter where you can follow me, but not literally. Much like Zach Winters does. Much like Zane Paisley does. But not literally, I don't look in the front seat and there's Zane Paisley waiting to go to Roseburg. Although if he did, maybe they could use him. They probably would like a good ring announcer. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, which you may be watching right about now. Right about now you're probably watching. I bet Zane Paisley right now watching on the YouTube saying, What did I ever do with my life? Why would I literally follow someone into the front seat to go to Roseburg, Oregon? I don't know, Zane. I don't know. Autograph picture of Kevin Sullivan. He, right there with Mark Lewin and Gary Hart. And, if I search my pockets well enough, I just might have a Kevin Sullivan mask. I just might. Maybe I do. And look at that, I do. I sure do. I once wore it right next to Kevin Sullivan. He was for words. For words. There is Paul Freakshine and John Lennon back when they were buddy pals before the big split. I'll probably see Paul later unless someone takes all his lug nuts off the vehicle at 75 miles an hour like he claimed before. There's Paul and Wonderful Zach. Maybe Zach will be there. I don't know. On the Freak Show, Darkness, one half of the Power Pit Tag Champs. Maybe he'll be there. Paul and his niece Casey Carlisle. I don't think she'll be there, but that'd be great if she was. Chicken Bob would be happy. Pictures like that available at CaseyCarlisle.com. That's CaseyCarlisle.com. Home for all your gift giving needs. Rapidly approaching Pearl Harbor Day. Those would be very appropriate for the survivors on your gift giving needs list. Hanukkah nearly finished, but you could still send those out. Imagine if her cousin J.D. Mason were to get some of those on the last night of Hanukkah. He'd probably weep. Tears of joy. There's QT's favorite. There she is, if you need something for Midget Appreciation Day. Maybe you'd send him the short sleeve Samson, I don't know. There she is. If you're old enough, pictures like that available. Those. There she is with a large title belt. There she is when she went to a large title belt university. Home with the fighting championships. There she is. There she is with yet another large title belt. There she is, angry. Maybe angry that Roseburg is so far away. Other members of Team Bad Knees. Not one single good knee in that entire bunch. Picture of old Ken Hamlin throwing a rock through the McDonald's because Stomp and Steve hasn't gotten me the next flyer for the next scene in December. He's threatening to throw it. He's going to cover for Stomp and Steve working security so Stomp and Steve can focus sole attention on making these flyers. So, kudos to old Ken Hamblin for that. I'm sure Stomp and Steve appreciates it. And, autograph picture of Seymour Schnott, proud member of the Gouge roster. His protege, Tim, having a birthday. Having a birthday. I've shared a locker room with Tim. It was a great experience. But, this week, a busy week, Chicken Bob and I got to go to Roseburg. Boy, will Chicken Bob's wings be tired once we fly down there and back from that power pit show Sunday on Turnbuckle Turmoil we have Military Appreciation Day all guys from the military will be talking about their service how it translates to wrestling 
Coach Mike will probably want to know about fava beans and coffee. QT will probably want to know about a 1938 Japanese submarine. I don't know what's going to happen, but something will. Chicken Bob, not actually a captain of a pirate ship, but he could have been. He could have been in like a pirate army or something. Then I got to beeline to South Hill for the Northwest Pro and Glamour show. Glamour going to be having matches. Northwest Pro having a hardcore tournament. Maybe I'll enter that. Maybe Chicken Bob will enter that. Chicken Bob, a former hardcore champion himself. He most certainly was. Monday. Eh, pretty much looking free. Tuesday, not much. Wednesday, pretty available. Thursday, not got much going on. Next Friday on the show, we have Tank. He's a hardcore wrestler. Maybe Coach will ask why he didn't enter the Northwest Pro Tournament. Maybe old Ken Hamlin will call in and will say, have you ever ridden in a tank like Shotzi Blackheart? I don't know what will happen, but something will. So to review, Roseburg is far. It's far, but in this undisclosed vehicle, Chicken Bob and I are going to venture down there like we're Dash, apparently. And then we'll zoom back up here, and we'll be flying, and Chicken Bob's wings will get tired. Sunday, Military Appreciation Day on Turnbuckle Turmoil. Then I got a beeline to the Northwest Pro Show in South Hill. Chicken Bob might enter the tournament and win the whole thing. He's great at hardcore wrestling. Monday looking free. Tuesday, not much. Wednesday's pretty open. Thursday, not a lot going on. Friday, we have Tank. Hardcore wrestler Tank. Used to be in Mid-South. The IWA Mid-South. But with that, pretty much episode 509...